This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Visit sailrite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we'll show you how to make your own decorative throw pillows. This is a standard throw pillow with no piping, fringe, or zipper, so it's easy to make. After stuffing our pillow, we will use the invisible hand stitch to close up the opening, completing the pillow. Cindy from Sailrite is going to show us how to make this throw pillow. It all starts with a pillow form. First, we need to measure it to determine the amount of fabric required. The Sailrite carries many sizes of pillow forms. Visit Sailrite.com to pick yours today. Take measurements from side to side. Ours is an 18 inch by 18 inch pillow form. If your old throw pillow form is still in good condition, you can use that over again. With those measurements in hand, you can go to the Sailrite fabric calculator and click on pillows. There you'll find throw pillows. This will easily calculate how much fabric is required for the amount of throw pillows that you want to make. The dimension of our throw pillow was 18 inches by 18 inches. Here we're going to pick a quantity of six throw pillows in that size. And when we enter the fabric width of 54 inches and hit the calculate button, we can see that we only need two yards of this decorative fabric. And if you scroll down below, you can see a nesting of how the panels are laid up on the fabric. To pick your fabric, visit Sailrite. Click on Fabric under Shop by Department. Then click on Decor and Upholstery Fabric. You'll see thousands of fabrics to select from. Now that we have the fabric, we need to cut the plates for the pillow. The decorative fabric that we've selected has a pattern. So here Cindy will try to keep this pattern centered in the middle of our throw pillow. Measuring for the exact center of that pattern, she will insert a pin there. To make the two plates for our throw pillow, they need to be the size of the throw pillow. Our throw pillow was 18 inches by 18 inches, so here Cindy is marking on the fabric that dimension. The width measurement was the same, so here we'll mark 18 inches. That pattern again is centered between this measurement. Why are we cutting the plates to the exact same size as the throw pillow insert? because it makes a tighter fitting decorative cover for that throw pillow and we believe it looks better that way. After marking the fabric we'll use the rotary cutter here on a cutting mat and cut the fabric to size. The insertion of a pin at the bottom edge as Cindy is doing here is a reference for the pattern and also where the opening of the throw pillow will be for the insertion of the pillow form. Each pillow requires two plates, so this plate is placed on top of the decorative fabric and the patterns are matched up. Matching up the patterns like this will place our pattern in the center on both the top and bottom side of our throw pillow. We'll be using our first plate as a template to cut out the second plate. We're using our rotary cutter and our cutting mat and the clear acrylic ruler to cut out our second plate. The two plates are laying directly on top of each other. We'll fold them both in half here. We like to cut a small wedge out of each corner. This helps to keep the corners from poking up when the pillow is finished. Here we're using the clear acrylic ruler and place a mark a half inch from the corner. Then taking the overall width of the pillow, we'll divide that by four. And for us, it comes up with 4.5 inches. Using the clear acrylic ruler, we'll measure over four and a half inches from the edge of the fabric diagonally. So it intersects that half inch mark and the opposite edge of the fabric. Do the same to the opposite edge. In doing this, this will make the completed pillow look better as the corners will not poke up much at all. We'll use the rotary cutter and cut along that line we just struck down at that corner. We'll do this same procedure for the opposite corner. We will not show that since the procedure is done in exactly the same way. Since the fabric was folded in half, we only had to do that twice and that did it for all four corners of our throw pillow. Using these pins that are available from Sailrite, we will pin the two panels together directly on top of each other so the outside surfaces are facing each other. This keeps the two panels directly on top of each other as we sew them together. At the bottom edge, we want to create an opening for the pillow insert. For us, we're creating an 8 inch opening here and marking it so that we know where to start and stop sewing. To sew our throw pillows, we'll be using the Sailrite Ultrafeed LS1 sewing machine. We're going to set our stitch length to about 3 millimeters in length. 
We're using a home sewing machine thread and a number 14 size needle. We'll start sewing on one of the points we marked on the fabric for the opening of the pillow insert and we'll sew a half inch from the edge of the fabric, being sure to do some reversing at the beginning to lock our stitch in place. When we reach the corner, we bury our needle, lift our foot, rotate the fabric, lower our foot, and then continue to sew. The Sayrite Ultrafeed sewing machines are a walking foot sewing machine. They are heavy duty, but as you can see, they can sew this light home decor fabric as well. We've sewn all the way around the perimeter of the pillow, and here's the mark where we want to stop sewing so that we can insert our pillow form. Here's what our stitch looks like when sewn with the Sayrite Ultrafeed sewing machine. Good tension on the top and the bottom. Next, inserting the pillow form. Our plates are sewn all around the perimeter except for the opening for the pillow insert. We can remove the pins and we can cut away some of the excess fabric at the corners. This simply takes out some of the bulk at the corners. We're going to use the sewing gauge ruler here with the point on the end to push our corners out. But first we need to turn the pillow right side out. Using this tool or something similar, we can now push the corners so they are completely pushed right side out. Doing this in advance will make the corners look better. So be sure to do this to all four corners of your throw pillow. If you're using a new pillow form, we recommend cutting off the tag so it's not felt. Then we can stuff our pillow insert inside of our new decorative cover. We've left the opening rather small, so this will take a little bit of time to stuff the pillow inside of our decorative cover. Once the pillow insert is inserted in the cover, push your hand to each one of the corners and ensure that the pillow insert is laying neatly in that corner. Instead of using a sewing machine to close up our opening, we're going to use the invisible hand stitch. It's also referred to as the ladder, slip, blind, or hidden stitch. We think that closing up a pillow using this technique looks better than using a sewing machine to close up the hole. We will fold under or hem the raw edges of this opening so it's folded in and then the edges are pinned together with our multi-use pins. Once it's pinned together, inspect your work. Don't be surprised if you see a little bit of a waviness in the fabric. That's only from the straight pins. After the hidden stitch is done, those will disappear. This stitch can be accomplished with a straight hand needle. However, we're going to use a curved needle. These curved needles are available at Sailrite. We're going to use some of the thread that we used to sew the pillow up and insert it in our needle and then tie a double knot at the end. Notice the thread is doubled up. Where our sewing machine started sewing or ended sewing, insert the needle in one of the hemmed edges, going back about a quarter inch towards the sewing machine stitches. Then tuck the tail of that hand stitch in between the hemmed edges. Now, on the opposite side, insert the needle directly across from where the thread exits and stitch about a quarter inch ahead of that location. Next, go directly across and repeat that process moving forward about a quarter inch each time. These stitches will close up our opening and give a beautiful finished result. Repeat this process about five or six times. Then pull on the thread and that'll tighten up those five or six stitches. Then continue on. For best results, when you go from side to side, be sure to go straight across so the thread is perpendicular to the folded edges. When you pull the thread taut, the stitches will become invisible. Here Cindy has finished up some of the stitching and she pulls the thread taut, making the stitch invisible. Finally, we're coming to the end. Here you can see Cindy pulling it apart to indicate where our sewing machine stitches start or end. She will finish up a little bit so that she's right on top of that uh, reverse stitching that was made by the sewing machine. So this is our final stitch, right on top of those stitches done with the machine. Then she will take her needle and insert it right in the middle of one of the hems and then push it through about an inch away, pulling the thread to that location. Then she'll go on the other hem and push it through about an inch away going in the opposite direction. She'll do this a few times to bury the loose threads because Cindy does not like to make a knot. 
she'll go through one more time and now she will take her scissors and cut the thread as close to the decorative fabric as possible. And this completes our invisible hand stitching, which closes up that opening for the pillow insertion and makes it look gorgeous. Don't go away, coming up is the materials lists and the tools that we used to make this throw pillow. You'll find thousands of decor fabrics that are excellent for throw pillows at the Sayrite website. Coming up, we'll show some related videos having to do with other types of throw pillows. Click on a link here if you'd like to view one of those. To see more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sayrite website or subscribe to the Sayrite YouTube channel. It's your loyal patronage to Sayrite that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your loyal support.